hello guys this is question 3.56 and the statement of it is the joint density function of the random variable x and y is fxy6 for x greater than 0 and less than 1 and y greater than 0 and less than 1 minus x and this is 0 elsewhere so on the basis of this given data part a show that x and y are not independent okay so let me solve it and the solution of part a is first we have to see that what is the condition for the independence okay so the two variables or two random variables will be independent if x y will be equal to g of x multiplied by h of y okay if this condition is satisfied for each value of x and y then those random variables will be independent of each other just like here x and y we have to check that whether this condition lies or not so for this first we have to find out g of x and h of y here so in order to find g of x here what do we have to do we have the random variable 6x so we have to integrate it and integrate it with respect to y okay so the y range basically starts from 0 and ends at 1 minus x so let me take this and ends at 1 minus x okay so let me take it and here integrating it is back to y this 6x will be treated as the constant so it will be out of this integral okay and 0 1 minus x and here dy okay also here 6x and here we will have y 0 1 minus x so ultimately the g of x will be what g of x will be 6x 1 minus x okay this is for g of x and here we have it okay this is for g of x now let me take it for h of y so for h of y we have to integrate the same function which is 6x but we have to integrate it with respect to x okay so here we can see that the limit of the limits of x are given but in order to put the variables here we can see here that y is less than 1 minus x y is less than 1 minus x okay or let me use another color for it let me take this color so y is less than 1 minus x so therefore x is also less than 1 minus y okay treating them as it is we can see that the range of x is also from 0 to 1 minus y so let me put them here as well so i will get here 0 to 1 minus y okay i hope you have got my point that here this is greater than 0 and similarly here this is so therefore this condition lie here as well okay so uh, let me integrate it and integrating it this will be 6 multiplied by x square divided by 2 and here it would be 0 1 minus y okay so here we will get 2 3 okay and also 1 minus y square and this is what this is h of y which we have just found out okay so these are the two variables we have found out now in order to see whether condition a lies or not so for fx fy we have 6x okay we can see that this is fxy is 6x okay let me multiply g of x and h of y okay let me put their values 6x 1 minus x multiplied by 3 1 minus y square we can see here very clearly that fx of y is not equal to g of x h of y okay you can see that here this one and this one these two quantities are not equal so therefore the two variables x and y are not independent okay basically these are dependent of each other and you can also see it from this equation as well that the value of y basically dependent upon the value of x as well so therefore these two are dependent 
of each other okay let me move to part b of my question and here in part b we are asked to find x is greater than 0 0.3 given that y is equal to 0 0.5 okay so again we have to find the probability that x is greater than 0 0.3 such that y is equal to 0 0.5 okay let me put their values and as you can see that this is the conditional probability so therefore i have to put here fxy and also dividing it over this h of y okay we have the values of both of them this 6 this is 6x okay as given in the statement of this question and hy is already calculated and this is where it is let me see here it is okay this is 3 1 minus y whole square or we can also see that this is 2x divided by 1 minus y whole square okay as the value of y is already given and that is 0 0.5 so we can also see that putting it here we will have 2x divided by 1 minus 0.5 whole square okay so finding it out we will have 2x divided by 1 minus 0.5 is what that is 0 0.5 0 0.5 square is 0 0.25 okay now in order to find different values for x here we can see that when x is greater than 0.3 and the value of y is also 0 is equal to 0 0.5 we have previously seen that x basically ranges from 0 up to 1 minus y which was given okay as the value of y is now given you can see that this is now here 0 0.5 and that is greater than 0 means now the value here is replaced by here because x must be greater than 0 0.3 so the new value of x will be from 0 0.3 up to 1 minus y so 1 minus 0 0.5 here because the value of y is already given so taking it the range of x will be from 0 0.3 up to 0 0.5 because here we can see that the lowest value here is 0 0.3 and the highest value of it will be 0 0.5 so therefore we have to find out the probability of x greater than 0 0.3 and less than 0 0.5 given that y is equal to 0 0.5 okay so in order to find this value here okay in order to find out this value here what do i have to do i have to perform integration within this limit so it will be from 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 and the value here it is 2x divided by 0 0.25 d of x okay so now let me take it out this is 2 by 0 0.25 okay and integrating it what i will get I will get here x square divided by 2 and here 0 0.3 0 0.5 okay so these two will cancel out okay so now solving it what I will get here it would be 1 over 0 0.25 and multiplying it with the value 0 0.5 square minus 0 0.3 square okay so calculating it what you will get here you will get 0 0.64 which is basically the answer of my question okay so that's the answer of part b of my question in which i have basically found out the probability that x is greater than 0 0.3 given the value of y 0 0.3 and I have also find it out by using the conditional probability theorem okay so that's it for today in which we have solved question 3.56 if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon